This episode is brought to you by the free downloadable ebook, Terrorism, Exile, and the Path to Freedom. Dr. Michael Youssef uses his first-hand knowledge of the Middle East to uncover the shocking history of radical Islam and discusses the only way to save our Western civilization as we know it. Download your free guide now by clicking on the free stuff link at MarlarHouse.com. Offer expires Friday, March 31st, 2017. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. There is a report that NASA has invented an age-reversing pill that they would give to astronauts traveling to Mars. Mars? How about taking care of Earth first, huh? I mean, seriously, who wouldn't immediately sign up for a prescription for age-reversing pills? Twitter is exploring a subscription-based option. So, okay, so does that mean that you'd have to pay to get Trump's tweets, or do you have to pay to block them? Amy Schumer has backed out of the starring role in the live action Barbie movie. And parents around the world rejoice. The NFL's VP of Football Operations, Troy Vincent, says the NFL's competition committee is exploring ways to make dangerous hits result in immediate ejections and possible suspensions while at the same time, victims of those dangerous hits will also be suspended from their brainstems. A UK reality TV show sent contestants into seclusion in the Scottish Highlands only to have them return to find the show had been cancelled. Oh, hey, can we get a Scottish Highlands show for the Kardashians? NFL owners Monday approved the Raiders to move to Las Vegas by a vote of 31 to 1 with only the Dolphins voting against the move. Apparently, Miami doesn't want Vegas in the NFL. They would like to remain the most insane city in the league. The newly unveiled statue of Shaquille O'Neal outside the Staples Center is suspended 10 feet in the air. Even, you know, even from that height, though, Shaq still insists the world is flat. An Idaho motorist is blaming a car crash on Bigfoot. She claims to have hit a deer in an accident that was caused by a Bigfoot sighting. She says she saw a Sasquatch chasing a deer on a stretch of US-95. She adds that the creature was shaggy and between 7 and 8 feet tall. Bigfoot then went back for the roadkill deer and would also like to thank that lady for the help. Jeb Bush feels that President Trump has become a distraction. Whoa. Okay, somebody please check my pulse right now. I, I just agreed about something with Jeb Bush. During his White House briefing on Monday, Trump spokesperson Sean Spicer had something, likely spinach, stuck in his teeth. So now we're all going to call him Spinach Spice. Former Vice President Joe Biden claims that he could have won the 2016 presidential election. Well, uh, maybe so, but you know, seeing as how you chickened out before the primaries, I guess we'll never really know now, will we, Joe? And the final four is set. The games, they've not even started, and already there's controversy. Apparently somebody stole Tom Brady's bracket. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I post new videos. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.